What's up, what's up, what's up guys? How's it going? Whew, Greg B, back at it again. Hope everybody had a great, fantastic week. And, uh, and on to the other one. Before you know it, we're gonna be in July pretty soon the way this, uh, how fast these days are going, man. It's like, boom, wake up, go to work, go home, wake up, go to work. It's over and over and over, if you know what I mean. To me, time it seems like it's going fast. We're ready in June almost mid-June, pretty soon, Christmas around the corner again. But uh, I don't wanna make this too long, but I thought about something. I said, you know, I haven't seen a video of, um, I haven't seen a video of, well, I probably have, but uh, I probably didn't catch it too well, but of the Toro Turfmaster using the side discharge. Um, Unfortunately, today, I, I just thought about it right now, so I said, let me get this out before I forget. But unfortunately, today, I forgot the attachment part that goes onto the side of the mower. Uh, you pull the little metal piece out and you put the, the little plastic piece in, and all it does is just a, a guard, so it keeps things down. It won't keep the, it won't keep the grass from flying up. So, uh, but this yard here is pretty cool because it's more like a field and uh, I'm going to use it and I'm going to show you real quick do a couple passes and then I'll let you guys go on throughout your day it's a beautiful day outside today really humid unfortunately but you guys you know uh, I'm sure you see that humid wherever you guys are at the rain has stopped here in the east coast and thank god so we're good to go but first I want to show you something real quick I got some new stickers uh, got a pretty cool new decal on the side of the the window right there and I also got a new license plate frame so uh, I want to give a big shout out to the people at downshift decals uh, thank you so so much for the new work I love it it makes the car look great it's really really awesome so I'm sure you guys can, uh, can see that right there and you guys know about my Toro plate in the back they also did that for me so thank you once again to Jen and the crew at Downshift Decals. You guys are the shizzle. All right, so um, you guys have a good day. So take a look. I'm gonna do a quick walk around and um, we'll get going here. So other than that, hope everybody's having a great day and uh, you know, make that money. So here is, uh, here. <laughs> hey, Pop Pop. There's Pop Pop, everybody. Everybody say hi. Doing great. All right, buddy, doing good, buddy. Good. There's Pop Pop right there. Everybody say hi, Pop Pop. Great job. Thank you, thank you. So here's a couple swipes that I've done with the mower in the mulching pattern. So this is just mulched up real quick here. As you see, I haven't done the uh, the edging yet and some debris on the ground. But here is the front yard all mulched up. So let's go to the back. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So taking a little tour to the backyard. Let me play my music. So as you can see, I did some cutting already. Just to get the pattern going. And then uh, we're going to go to the side here. And do the rest of it for you. So as you can see here, I cut this already a little bit. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna prop this. Oh, let me show you. So over here is the opening of the side discharge. So right here, I hope you can see this, is the cover of the um, side. So this goes, let's see, this goes, so you lift this piece up. It's really hard too, it's really hard spring. Lift this piece up to pull this out because it connects right in here. And then it goes up underneath, you know, like so. So basically you pull this out, then you attach the plastic part like the regular homeowner style push mower that Toro gives you. But today I'm leaving it out to shoot all the grass out of it. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna prop you up here and do a couple passes. Alrighty, so as you can tell, this is the cover. This thing's heavy, man. So here's the cover piece. This thing is super heavy. 
Uh, you lift the spring up, you pull it out, you attach the plastic piece, and you're good. All right, let's fire her up. wide open there's nothing holding it back it just cuts the grass and shoots it out the side it's really good if you had an open field and uh, if you're doing like an empty lot or the parking lot or something man just let it roll man let that grass flow everywhere and really without that without that uh plastic guard you don't get that choking at the end of the hole you have your own opening you know like so so all this will be open and you're good to go so only thing is you gotta look for is stuff like this that will build up on the corner of the uh of the mower so sorry about the extra noise the other neighbor is cutting their grass and they have a i think a troy built riding lawnmower so it's a little bit loud actually it's really loud so like i said guys i don't want to hold you up too long but as you can see it's cut done i'll do a low view here so that's how it looks boom baby so other than that guys i want to say thank you again for watching Woo, that mower is loud holy mackerel it's not like a monster truck so let me get this video done all right, guys, it's really hot and humid. Toro, Turf Master 30, A+, plus, man. Have a great day. God bless. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Once again, man, if you haven't, please give me a like, any comments, anything you need to want to know, want to know, need to know, questions, concerns, just let me know, guys. And also, I would say, I, they're in the car, but if you want to wear safety glasses, you can, because if it's windy outside, the grass will get in your face. So, safety first, right? Mine's in the car. <laughs> oh well. Have a good weekend, guys. God bless. Be safe. Peace.